and the best value for your money in my personal opinion is going to be bachelors of computer science so in this video i have tried to cover courses colleges universities that are really good but they're also affordable for most students i've been through the websites of a number of colleges and universities and i've handpicked these courses especially for you especially since i'm in the tech industry so i know that these courses are actually really good if you want to pursue computer science or what's up youtube it's shivansh here if this is the first time that you're watching my channel then welcome my name is shivansh and i live in toronto canada i did my computer engineering from university of alberta and i've been working in toronto for the last six years as a software engineer and if you don't already know this software engineering or just computer science in general has a great scope in canada and i've made a lot of videos on my youtube channel and also a lot of reels on my instagram page talking about why computer science is a great career option for you if you want Want to build your career in the tech industry there are a lot of jobs available it is one of the highest paying careers out here in canada and anybody literally anybody can start their tech career just by doing the right courses and acquiring the right skills. So if you are planning to pursue any computer science related courses, then this video is going to be the ultimate video for you. Because in this video, I will talk about some of the best and the most affordable computer science courses that you can study in Canada. This will include diploma courses, advanced diploma courses, and also if you want to do a full degree. We will go over the highlights of these courses and also talk about their fee structure. And towards the end of this video, I will also give you my verdict on which course is the best computer science science course that you can take based on your situation. So make sure to watch this video till the very end. But before we begin, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about Canada. Because if you like and share this video with the friends and family, then YouTube will show this video to a lot more number of people and that will be of a great help to me. So please make sure to hit the like button. And with that being said, let's start this video. All right, so before we begin, just want to let you guys know that the courses or universities that are covered in this video are not the best universities in Canada. Of course, the top universities for studying computer science in Canada are University of Waterloo, University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, McGill University, University of Alberta, etc. However, all these top universities are also very expensive and not too many people can actually afford to study there. So in this video, I have tried to cover courses, colleges, universities that are really good, but they're also affordable for most students. All right, so I've created this spreadsheet here. And as you can see, that there are a bunch of courses in here, approximately like 15, 16 courses. I've been through the websites of a number of colleges and universities, and I've handpicked these courses, especially for you, especially since I'm in the tech industry. So I know that these courses are actually really good if you want to pursue computer science or software engineering in Canada. So I've created this spreadsheet especially for you and we'll be talking about some diploma courses, then we'll talk about some advanced diploma courses and in the end we'll also talk about some really good degree courses that are also very affordable at the same time. Oh and by the way, if you guys want to access this spreadsheet then I've included a link in the description box below. So you can just go to that link and download the spreadsheet and then you'll be able to see exactly what you see in the video here you'll be able to click on the links and directly go to the college website or the course website and that'll give you further information about the course that you're looking at. You'll be able to see my comments and my verdict as well and you'll be able to make the right decision for you. So if you are interested, then just go ahead and download the spreadsheet. It's for free and um, make the best use of it. All right, so the very first program that we have in this list is offered by Seneca College. It's the computer programming course. It is a diploma course, and if you don't already know this, Seneca College is in Toronto, Ontario, and the duration of this course is two years. And this is good because I usually recommend all international students to at least do a two-year course in Canada because that will help you get a postgraduate work permit after you graduate for up to three years. Uh, but if you only do a one year course, then you might only get a one year postgraduate work permit. So if you want to pursue your PR later on, it is better to do a two year course, at least a two year course as compared to a one year course. And the cost of this specific course is approximately $16,700. Uh, so for a period of two years, it'll be $33,400. Now this course does not offer any co-op. So if you don't already know this, co-op is basically an internship, a mandatory internship that 
A lot of colleges and universities in Canada offer and if you enroll yourself in the co-op program then that'll be really good because one you'll be able to get some practical work experience while you are still studying at your college or your university so you'll get the opportunity to work for a real company and work on real projects so that'll give you some practical or industry experience even before you graduate and the second reason why a co-op program can be really good is because you'll be able to earn a lot more as compared to your minimum wage job or a regular job in a co-op internship now this depends on how much experience you have and what sort of company you're working for or what uh, job profile you'll be working in now there's also one downside of the co-op program and that is that there's also a slightly higher fee if you choose to do a co-op program but i think that extra thousand or two thousand dollars is actually really worth it because you'll be able to get practical working experience and you'll also be able to make a lot more because of that internship opportunity in the long run so if you are getting an opportunity to get into the co-op program then you should definitely consider it and opt for it and this is the link to this program so if you click on the link here it'll take you to Seneca's website where you'll be able to see more details about this specific program so this is the computer programming program or CPP as they call it at Seneca it starts in the January semester September semester and the May semester so it doesn't matter which semester or which intake you're trying to choose this specific course is offered in all three of them and you can see that the duration is four semesters, two years, and these are the different campuses where this specific course is offered. And then you'll get a brief description about what this program is all about and what are the different skills you will learn through throughout this course. And some of the top skills are computer programming, obviously. You'll get to learn about operating systems, database and web technology, security, uh, system methodologies, etc. And then um, this is how your career would look like. So uh, if you choose to do this course and once you graduate, you'll be able to work as a software developer, as an information system specialist, a junior software engineer, program analyst, etc. So this again comes back to my initial point that there are so many different jobs and so many different opportunities available in the tech industry in Canada that there are all these skills that you will learn in this specific course or in any course for that matter you'll be able to use all these different skills in different types of job profiles and depending on your interest and also with the availability in the market you'll be able to pick and choose which career path you actually want to pursue do you want to become a security engineer later on do you want to do IT administration or systems administration work or do you want to manage databases or data infrastructure or you straight up want to do software development or app development etc so it depends entirely on you I have some comments here that this is a software development course but the downside to this specific course is that there is no co-op option available even though you'll get to learn really good skills but since there's no co-op option available so there are better opportunities um, in this list so the second course is offered at Humber it's again a computer programming course it's a diploma course now Humber has a bunch of different campuses but this one is in Toronto Ontario so it's a two-year course um, the cost per year is seventeen thousand and six hundred dollars and the total cost comes out to be around thirty five thousand and two hundred dollars but the highlight of this specific course is that this one does come with a co-op option so if you are considering between these two courses then i would recommend that you choose the second course because both these colleges are similar both these courses are similar now even if you look at the course description for this one you'll realize that the material taught in both these courses is pretty similar so you'll learn about databases you'll learn about algorithms and operating systems web programming and design object oriented programming systems design data structures algorithms so it is a pretty thorough course and since it also comes with a co-op option so i would recommend you choose this one over the first one but again it depends on your personal interest and if you are willing to pay that extra amount of money in addition to this additional tuition fee now this next course is offered by sheridan college it's called computer systems technician software engineering course this one is also a diploma it's a two-year course it's offered at the oakville campus of sheridan college the fee is also very similar eighteen thousand dollars per year or thirty six thousand dollars for the entire course now this one also does not have a co-op option and you can click on the link here to go to the website and read the details of this specific course uh, but my comments are that this is a good introductory course to software development and databases however this is not as much in depth as compared to some of the other courses that i have in this list especially the three year long courses but regardless of that sheridan is a really good college and this is also a pretty good course if you want to pursue computer science all right, so the next course that I have for you is offered at SAIT, which is Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Uh, if you don't already know this, SAIT is a college out of Calgary, Alberta. And Calgary is also very popular for immigrants, especially nowadays when the housing affordability is very poor in 
big cities like Toronto or Vancouver. So a lot of people are actually moving all the way to Alberta, to Edmonton, to Calgary, just so that they can reduce their living cost by living in those cities, which are equally good, but not as expensive as Toronto or Vancouver. So this is also a really good option. The course is called Straight Out Software Development. It's a diploma course. It's a two year course. Uh, and the downside to this is that the cost for this specific course is slightly higher. Uh, so it's $24,000 per year. So for the entire two years, you'll have to pay approximately $48,000, which is quite a bit or quite a jump as compared to some of these other courses. And this course also has a co-op option. So that's really good. So if you want to read the description of this course, you can go to this website um, and click on the link here and it'll give you all the details. But my comments are this is a good introduction course to software development. It is similar to the other two year courses that we've covered before. So this Sheridan course, Humber course and the Seneca one. But the material is actually slightly better than these two year courses. And I guess that's what gets reflected in their total cost as well. Uh, this is a more expensive course, but the material is also slightly better. It's more promising. You'll learn better skills and that would translate to better career opportunities as well. All right. So the next course that I have is offered at Conestoga College. This is a computer engineering technology course. Now this one is an advanced diploma course. It's three years long. So slightly longer than your regular two year diploma. But the benefit of doing an advanced diploma is that these courses are generally speaking a lot more in depth. So you'll get to learn a lot more number of skills as compared to a regular two year course. Now, the best part about this course is that it's offered at Waterloo, which is a city in Ontario. It's uh, approximately two or three hours from Toronto. And it is also an upcoming tech hub in Canada. And some people also like to call it the Silicon Valley of Canada because a lot of tech companies and a lot of tech startups actually originate from Waterloo. So if you study in Waterloo, you'll definitely get a lot of exposure to tech companies. This one also has a co-op option. And the good part is that this course is slightly cheaper on a per year basis. So this is only about $16,000 for one year and $49,000 for the full three year course. Now comparing this to SAIT, which is only a two year course, it was costing you approximately $48,000 just for two years. But this is a three year course, which will also cost you approximately the same amount. Once again, you can click on the link here and read the description. Um, the link to the spreadsheet is found in the description box below. So if you want to pursue software engineering or software development specifically, and you want to acquire advanced skills in this field, then I think this is a really good option for you. So the next one I want to cover is offered at Conestoga College. It's a computer engineering technology course. Again, it's an advanced diploma course, but this one is actually offered at the Cambridge campus of Conestoga College, which is not that far from Toronto. So it's on the other side of Toronto as compared to Waterloo. So this is also a three year course. The fee is also very similar, approximately $16,500 or $50,000 for the entire three years. But the unique proposition about this specific course is that it is very similar to having a computer engineering degree as a opposed to a software engineering degree. So this focuses equally on electronics and software development. So if you are someone who wants to pursue a career in electronics and also wants to learn about software development or software engineering. So this course is a really good mixture of both these fields but there is a slightly heavier focus on electronics. And another good part about this specific course is that it also includes a capstone project at the end of your course. So in your last semester or last two semesters, uh, you will have to do a capstone project, which will be a full fledged project that you'll work on with a bunch of people, with a group of people from your class. And I've done a capstone project in my university days, and it's a pretty intense project that you get to uh, conceptualize, you do the research, then you do the design and you also do the implementation. So it's a full fledged um, software engineering or computer engineering project that you'll get to be a part of. So this will be a great learning experience for you. So that's another unique proposition of this course. So the next two courses I want to cover kind of together. Uh, both of these are offered at Sheridan College um, and both of them are available in the Oakville campus. Uh, they might be available in other campuses too, but I think the Oakville campus is pretty nice. So the first course is Computer Systems Technology, Software Development and Network Engineering. The second course is Computer Systems Technology, Information Systems Engineering. So the course is similar, but the focus is slightly different in both these courses. Again, both these courses are advanced diploma courses. They're three years long and um, the fee is also very similar, $18,000 and the total cost is $54,000 for the entire three years. Both these courses have a co-op option and this is where you can uh, actually access these courses. Now, the good part about this first course is that it is a software development course, but it also focuses on game development. So if you are someone who's interested in working in the gaming industry, then this course would give you 
a little bit of an exposure to that. So that's good. And another really great benefit of this specific course is that you might be eligible to transfer to McMaster University, York University or Windsor University if you want to obtain a full degree after the completion of this course. So if you are that person and you have that in mind that you want to pursue a full degree at some point in time, then this course is a really great option because you'll be able to transfer a lot of your credits from your diploma course over to these really good universities in Canada. And the same thing goes for this second course here. This one also has an option to obtain a full degree. All right, so now let's move on to some degree courses. Now the degree courses that I've included here are offered at some colleges and also at some universities. So overall, these are the best courses that I could find that are also very affordable. Now, usually doing a full degree in Canada, a four year degree in Canada can be really very expensive, especially for international students. So if you are someone who really wants to pursue a computer science related degree in Canada, but budget is a constraint then you'll definitely find these next courses to be really useful some of these courses are offered at universities and some of them are also offered at colleges so the first course that i have is bachelors of computer science this is offered at conestoga college and this is a full degree it's offered at the waterloo campus which is again very good because waterloo is the tech hub of canada and a lot of companies have their offices there so you'll get a lot of exposure uh, so it's a four-year course uh, the approximate tuition fee is just eighteen thousand dollars per year which is one of the cheapest degree courses out there and the cost for the entire four-year degree can be approximately seventy two thousand dollars which is extremely good because under $75,000, you are able to get a full degree in Canada and that to a computer science degree. So nothing can get better than this. Also offers a co-op program, which is also really good. So the USPs for this specific course include, it's a full degree course with integrated co-op. It is very cheap only $72,000 for the entire degree. It has a campus at Waterloo, which is really good because it's the tech hub. And you'll also get to work on some capstone projects, which is again, very good. So overall, I really like this specific course. The next course that I wanna cover here is offered at Concordia University. It's a software engineering degree. And if you don't already know this, Concordia University is in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, it's a four year degree and the cost per year is going to be approximately $30,000 and the total cost of this specific program comes out to be around $120,000 for the entire four years. Now this is definitely a lot more expensive than all these other courses that we've covered so far. But if you are someone who can actually afford this much, then Concordia University and software engineering is a really good option for you. And that's what I've sort of mentioned here. It's a really good option if you want to pursue software engineering. This specific university has a really good reputation in Canada and across the world. So you cannot really go wrong with pursuing software engineering from Concordia University. And another benefit of doing this specific course is that since this university is in Montreal, uh, your cost of living or your monthly expenses will be reduced significantly as compared to Toronto or as compared to living in one of the bigger cities. So that's definitely something to consider if you're planning to decide between one of these university options or one of these full degree courses. The next one on the list is York University and the course name is BSc in Computer Science. Now this is also a four year degree. Uh, York University is in Toronto and the approximate cost is $31,000 per year, which comes out to be around $124,000 for the entire four years. And this one also has a co-op option, but this is not an engineering degree. It's a computer science degree. So if you want to pursue computer science instead, then this is a really good option. All right, so now let's talk about my final verdict on these courses. So if you are looking for the cheapest course without a co-op option, then hands down your best option would be the computer programming course offered at the Seneca College in Toronto. Similarly, if you only want to do a two year course, not a three year or a four year course, and you also want that the course should have a co-op option, then in that case, you should consider doing the computer programming course offered by Humber College. And if you want to do a three year course with a co-op option, then the best value for your money, in my opinion, is going to be the computer engineering technology course offered by Conestoga College. And in case you are someone who wants to maybe pursue a full degree later on in life after finishing this diploma course, then the best option for you would be to do the computer systems technology software development and network engineering course offered by the Sheridan College because students who pursue this course are eligible to transfer to McMaster University, York University or Windsor University. So Sheridan College has tie ups with these universities, at least for this specific program. So if you want to pursue a full degree later on, this course is a really good option for you. And the best value for your money, in my personal opinion, is going to be bachelors of computer science offered at Conestoga 
Conestoga College. Now this is also a full four year degree. But if you are someone who wants to get a full degree in Canada, a full computer science related degree, and you want it to be affordable at the same time, then this is the best option for you. Because in just 72,000 Canadian dollars, you'll be able to get a computer science degree in Canada in a four year period, which is amazing. All right, so that's all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys found this video to be useful. I did spend a lot of time doing research on all these different courses, especially the most affordable computer science courses in Canada. And if you appreciate the amount of hard work that I do and the amount of effort that I put into these videos, then please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Because if you like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel, then one, you'll be able to watch any of my future videos about studying and working in Canada. And two, YouTube will also push this video to more number of people and I'll be able to reach a lot more number of people. So with that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And you can also follow me on Instagram at shivansingla119. I also post a lot of useful and informative content on my Instagram page as well. So do follow me there. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.